Welcome back, survivors. I'm the Survival of This, and we return to Siberian Expeditions for our finale episode, where we only have one more animal to actually hunt down. So, actually, before I do, let me just go back, make sure... Okay, yeah, everything... I'm probably going to stick doing the 3DFX glide, just because... If I have it set to that, sure, there's the weird, like, ground warping it does, but at least I can play every map with it on. So I'll probably try remembering that for through all my Carnivores mod series. But we are going to be going to Altai Massif in order to hunt the Siberian Tiger. So the Siberian Tiger is native to the Russian Far East, Northeast China, and possibly North Korea. Measurements range from 8 to 10 feet in length, and the largest pushing 700 pounds. Its favorite foods include small and large mammals, and they're known to hunt bears. They are territorial and will attack you from any distance. So, <clears throat> I'm thinking this is going to be exactly like how the wolves are, where as soon as they pick you up, they are homing in on you like a living missile in a way. So for that, we can't quite get the og. We're about 10,000 shy, but if we, get, if we can get at least one tiger, I could always go back into another hunt and try to uh, get it there. But yeah, this is going to be a good finale. Final area, final animal. Everything else is looking good, so we'll hop in and see if we can get a few tigers as trophies to put in the trophy gallery, which we'll preview later on in this episode. And all looks good, so let's hop into a new hunt. Okay, so we're all loaded in here now. Oh. Oh, okay, I already see a tiger, I think, coming after us. It was just back over that way. But now I don't... Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, when I was talking, telling you guys that it'd probably be like the wolves, it really is. Because, like, he's... Or it... I don't know if it's actually going to be able to find its way to us. So you know what? I'm going to actually try to be proactive as it's coming in. See about getting down here. Yeah, I can see. Like, it actually started on the other side of the waterfall. You guys might have been able to see it. Just that little couple of pixels that was going... I... Okay, I've gotten a shot off on it. I don't know where it is now. Okay, let me see about getting up onto land here. I think what I'll do is I'll aim for over here. And keep trying to figure out where it might be, but... Yeah, they are... It is like the wolves with how aggressive they are. Because of the way the geography is, and the terrain, I don't think it was really able to get itself that... Uh, super... Close kind... It wasn't really able to pathfind its way to us. I was having a bit of trouble doing that. Oh crap, but another one can find us for sure! Yeah, so, already got basically tiger both ends of the bridge. Oh, this is starting out well. Okay, so we got you down. Whew! This is starting out exciting. One tiger at both ends of the bridge here. So I think we'll go over to this one. Yeah, this is going to be definitely an aggressive animal to hunt. Actually, I should get the shotgun ready again, and I think I will head back just with these two. Because I'm going to need all the self-defense I can get. Uh, I wish your head would... Uh, I guess maybe... What... Lowering winch to secure. I think you lowered the winch a bit too far there, bud. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, so I think... I was not expecting to get ambushed quite like that. Like, the one I probably should have stayed up just to give it more of a fair chance, but I was not expecting to come down to the bridge and all of a sudden I got Tiger at that end, Tiger at this end, and they both want me. Thank you, Rope Bridge. Or I guess kind of Log Bridge. I'm not really sure what the build of this would be. Either way, though, yeah, with that, I think we're just going to head back now, regroup, uh, regroup get a breather in because of that chaos it started, and then we'll head out again with the Og, which I'll probably definitely be needing. So, Tigers, no joke, they want you dead. 
Okay, we're back in the menu, and yeah, you can see, that was 20,000 points just from those two animals. So I can afford the AUG now, and we'll head back in, get a bit, a bit more of a fair chance to the animals, and not, like, go hopping into the water and then just hiding like a coward on the bridge. At least I got to show you guys, like, just how aggressive they are. It is really almost more dangerous than the wolves, because I think the tigers, yeah, they have much better senses across the board. The only thing they don't really have that's that good is the scent. But it's only a little bit... Actually, it's just a little bit less than the wolves. So, this is definitely going to be interesting. We'll hop back in for a new hunt and see if we can get another couple of them before we end things out. Or they might even get us. We'll have to see. Okay, so... Oh, we're loaded in here now. Okay, we're kind of middle south. They... I think last time we were a bit more south than this, and... Oh, this is going to be rough to... Try not to make too much noise as we're moving around with. Hmm. Yeah, so... I might try working north, just to get us... Okay, that was a tiger. And I don't know... Where exactly it is. I think it knows where we are. Sound like it's actually just up over that way. Maybe I'm just going to keep up to the hills for a while. Just to be a bit cautious. Because, yeah, that sounded like a tiger call or something just from where I was. God, they really, really are super aggressive. Okay, I don't see anything rushing towards us, so it may be... By some miracle, it actually didn't pick us up as I was trying to, like, run and hop. So if I want to go to it, I probably got to go over that ridge line there. So, you know what, let's man up and just try going over that way. I think... It's kind of interesting, because... They remind me of the Rexes for just, like, how aggressive they are to try getting into you. They aren't invulnerable or that, but... Well, it's not like the Rexes, which only had, like, I think the only shot that taken down is the eye zone. No, actually, I don't even think I can climb up that. I'll have to... I have to go around this way, too. Yeah, there's a pass-through. God, but with how animals can be, like... The pathfinding on them can be wonky, but that still means they can get up onto... Like, the mountains and cliffs and that, with enough trial and error. Oh, crap! Okay, should not have taken my eyes off the uh, passage that I knew a tiger call had come from. Do not forget to keep track of where kind of directions are. Spatial awareness is key. Unfortunately, you again landed into a hill. But maybe it's a bit quieter and I can try finding another tiger we can get the proper face visual on. Oh, but it does seem to be. I did hear that tiger when I was trying to get out of that little hole we were spawned in. I also still don't know what the, like, Northeast there is supposed to be. I feel like it's meant to be like a cave or something, but I don't know for sure. Okay, that was just the plain thing, taking the trophy out. Yeah, like all time massive, it's definitely a hard one to hunt on if it's something that's like super sensitive and aggressive, just because there are so many hills that it's going to be hard to get a good kind of feed on an animal that's coming in. Like, the thing about the carnivores animals, it's not like they just charge you in a straight line. They weave and go back and forth, which is very good for, like, not being predictable. 
but it can also be pretty challenging, especially on slopes. Contrita. There we go. Get our way up. Okay, no, I think it was just uh, kind of an ambient sound, not actually something rushing towards us. So I think we're okay for a little bit here. At least until I get up to the next hill and then we look out and see, oh, there's one coming right for us. Yeah, the shotgun is a necessity for hunting the tiger. Just because you're going to need something for close range as they are probably going to get in there against you. Okay. You know what, I did hunt the other tigers down in the southern area, so maybe it'd be better if I actually try going more northwest-ish, get into more of the greenery of the map. So far, we don't see any others, which I am thankful for. But that also means that, like any angle, it could be one that will rush in. And it's not like this is the Rexes where they have like the wind-up animation so you can kind of keep watch and you know when it's going to start for you. No, these guys just seem to be as soon as you're picked up, it might be a bolt in towards you. I could be mistaken, but we have to actually find one and see. I don't think I've found one that hasn't been immediately triggered by my presence. So we'll just be cautious, approach, and go through the map more. Now, I think sprinting is going to be like a dinner bell, so I don't want to do that too often. And of course, every sound is going to make me instinct, just by reflex, take out the weapon. I don't think you can blame me in this situation. Alright, I also... Let's see what their call is like. Okay, I don't think I got a reply from it. it was definitely an interesting call. It's kind of what you'd expect from a big cat like a tiger, really. Much kind of like deeper in tone, lower set in a way. Nothing high pitched or kind of like the snow leopards where it's just like an angry cat in a bath. Sounds like a heavy cat, basically. Well, we haven't actually been getting any replies for the few calls I did. So I'll keep working our way north, and then we'll try a few more calls after I actually get to the top of the hill and look out. Get a visual first, and then call out. Don't do the bad thing of call before you go on top of the hill, because otherwise, it can be coming up towards you before you know it. Oh yeah, see, look at all the tree... Like, it might be pretty open between the trees, but just coming in from a distance, it's quite a bit hard to see through it all. I think that was just an ambient call that I just heard. Yeah, I'm not actually getting any replies. The calls do send all the ambient animals off running because it is a... Well, it's a tiger call. I don't think anything wants to be too near here in that. I just have to be cautious and hopefully we'll get a better view of the tiger. Or it could even be that you guys get to see the death animation. Either one, I guess, is kind of like a win for the final episode, isn't it? I'll just keep on our way, carefully mine the surroundings if we can. I'll try to get up. There we go. Okay, so I did get a reply from up that way. It sounded a bit quieter, so I think there's some good distance away. So hopefully I can actually get a... 
visual on it before it triggers. That way, maybe we can see for sure if it does have, like, a wind-up animation or not. Kind of. I call it wind-up animation because you... God, this is probably going to sound so deep. But if you guys remember little wind-up toys where you basically just, like, turn the crank and that slowly put tension on a spring or something to make it kind of move or react, that's basically what it is. Oh. So I think it's somewhere right in that area. Oh, oh no, just the eagle owl. Somewhere right in that area there. And this is kind of a very nice spot to get some line of sight from far away. So I might just try to keep calling it in. Or is it over that way? I feel like it's somewhere ahead of us. I don't know exactly where, but definitely ahead. Hmm. Oh, but this poses a problem. Do I sit here and just try calling it in, or do I... Okay, I think I'm okay. I think that was just rocks or something moving. Do I go towards it? Or do I try to bring it in towards me? So I do hear the calls. Whoa. Yeah, I'm getting replies. But I don't actually have anything registering as like it's nearing or approaching. And because of that... It makes me want to actually go and at least try to get a read of it using the uh, monoculars. Monoculars or the sniper scope. I am going to take the shotgun and have it out just because it does have more capacity right now than the AUG does. Just need to try to remember to count my shots and on maybe like the fifth one, swap over, and hope. well hopefully the tiger's down before that. If it does come in. But if not, switch over the AUG, because I think even the AUG has a faster reload rate than the shotgun. That is one thing I wish you could kind of do with carnivores, is that you could... You could reload on your own. And there he is. Now you can see all the details that really went into the models. They are all fantastically done. Even the tiger. Nice big whiskers. You have, like, the... Scuffing around the neck and the chin there. Very nice patterning on the face. Oh. Well, there's the tiger getting his meal. So we'll probably head back with that. Yeah, that spatial awareness thing. Be better than me and remember to keep that in mind even after you've taken an animal down. I wasn't expecting the second one out nowhere, but at least... It's actually not as brutal as I thought it would have been. I thought the tiger might have, like, grabbed our shoulder and then was just, like, ringing and flailing us about, but... I guess just took the arm to decide to have fun. So, that was that. I think it's finally good to hop into the trophy lodge and see what things are going to look like there. So, let's hop over there for a little bit. Okay, so here we are in the trophy lodge, and it looks like... Oh, yeah, there are a lot of slots un unused. But we got ourselves just the boar, the snow leopard, the wapiti... The snow sheep and the wolf, which I believe were just from actually, yeah, they were last week's trophy hunt episode, which actually got a fair bit of the roster. Then we've also gotten ourselves our couple of tigers. And that's actually been it. I didn't actually do, like, a lot of trophy hunts in Siberian Expeditions. I think that's because the point total is so high for so many things to be opened up that it felt more like I just need to keep farming points constantly to slowly work our way up. I gotta admit, this is a very nice trophy lodge. I really do like the, like the hearth and the, oh, actually you're a red deer, but you're not even huntable. Now that's a very interesting touch to put into a Siberian Expeditions game. I wonder if you're a hint to DLC or something for the game, or for the mod down the line. And the brown bear, although a little bit different than the bear we get. So I think it might just be textured like that in order to make it fit. Uh... Again, pretty sure that's just a moose or the Iberian elk that's supposed to be up there, but I think it's just the uh, placing them as objects 
they didn't need quite as much detail and work to them, so that's why they look a bit different. Oh yeah, nice fireplace, chimney going up through. Looks like pretty comfy chairs, just if you could sit in, be nice. Ooh, what do we got here? Earth Magazine, in the land of the bear. Oh, and a little bit of a tea set almost. And then outside, I don't know if we can actually get outside, can we? Oh, we can, and we got a little sign here. Limpopo Diana Hunting Tours, welcome. Yeah, so it's actually a nice big stone and lodge, or stone and log lodge. Yeah, I do quite like this trophy room. It is very well done and quite nice to stop into. Again, I probably could have gotten a lot more, and I... Actually, what animals are we missing from this? The, I Sibri the East Siberian Elk. The Ibex. And I think that might be it, because that is still one, two, three, four, five, six animals. I feel like I might be forgetting one still, though. No, oh, the brown bear. God, for all the bears I went after, I never actually got a trophy of one, so... Yeah, nine animals in total for the mod, and we've got six showcased here. But I think because of how much we had hunted the bear, that kind of can excuse itself. But we will wrap up this episode with, of course, the credits page. So let me just bring that up for you guys quickly. And here we are, just the credits page to end out the mod. So, Tormer has always done some pretty fantastic work, and Siberian Expeditions, again amazing as well. All the details that you can see here for like each animal who modeled it, the work they've done on it, etc. So being Expeditions was a fantastic little mod. It's not quite in the same vein as the other carnivores because it's not like the dinosaur hunting, but it still uses the basic hunting premise to a fantastic level. I'd highly recommend if you guys are curious about it to check it out. Oh, excuse me. Of course, always the end of the video I start doing this. If you do want to check it out, I always leave a link down in the description below to go and pick it up for yourselves, try it out, see what you think. Do remember that it is a Carnivore's mod, so there is some setup stuff you have to do to it before you actually launch it. But yeah, it was a fantastic little mod, a great series to do on the channel, and I am so happy to have been able to do it for you guys. If you did enjoy it, and you have enjoyed the series throughout, be sure to give the video a like. And if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to let me know in the comments all down below. I try to respond to any questions or feedback as soon as I can, or as soon as I can, on the channel. Next week we will be starting into Carnivores 2 Plus as the new series coming on Fridays, so for anybody who was enjoying the uh, old Carnivores mods as series, they are still going to continue, and we do have that already lined up. I'm still trying to figure out my Monday Wednesday series, but I think I've covered most of the big mods that I don't know if there's anything that is more than just like a reskin pack at this point. So, kind of hard to say, but at least you guys do know Carnivores 2 Plus is coming Friday in place of Siberian Expeditions. But thank you guys all so much for joining me on the final episode or throughout the series if you have been watching. It's been a pleasure to bring to you guys, and hopefully I'll see you guys in other series and other videos going forward. Until I do, though, survivors, please remember, as always, to take care and stay alive.